All right, so let's go ahead and code that whole process that we talked about earlier with the client and the server and saving uh, the client's information onto the server. And so the first thing that we're going to code is we're going to code, okay, going into the server, getting the money that's in the server, and then uh, sending it to the client so that when he starts, he'll start off with what he last left with. Okay, So right in here, what we're going to put is local leader stats data and we're going to say local success comma error message equals p call whoa function and then delete that little uh, parentheses at the end leader stats data is equal to gold store no gold rush store no I'm sorry it's right here. Actually, let's call this guy the same name that this is, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Um, and so let's go ahead and say here, Gold Rush Store, uh, get async, and then let's do player dot user ID dot dot parentheses dash leader stats. Actually, we don't need to do that. Let's do just do player user ID. Okay. So that's that. Okay. So yeah, that's what this is doing. So this is going to, going to get the data from the server um, using the player's ID. So it's gonna this is gonna get the folder of the player and all the data in the folder. Right now we only have money, and it's gonna save it here in the leader stats data variable. Okay, and so now we're going to say if success, then if leader stats, whoa, if leader stats data is there, then we're going to say money dot value is equal to leader stats data dot money. Okay. And another thing that we want to do is we want to say if leader stats data dot money. No, actually, no, we don't want to do that. Okay, so that's that. And okay, we could say else too. Else. else we're going to say money dot value is equal to zero. Oh, and then we're going to end this. Okay. Um, all right. So what is all of this doing? Um, this is creating a variable called leader stats data. And then we're running this uh, get async. And so what th this is doing is it's going into the gold rush store in the data store services. So we're going on the server, of course, data store services. We're going into the gold rush store and then we're getting the player's data. So we're going into the player's folder and then we're grabbing all of the data. Okay. In the future, we're going to have like three or four pieces of data, but for now we just have one, it's money, and we're going to save it here in leader stats data. Okay. And right here it's saying, okay, if that was successful, if there was no errors in doing that, then if there is leader stat data, right, if there's actually data on the on the server, then we're gonna say leader stats data dot money. That's this value right there, is gonna be equal to money dot value. And this money dot value is this one here. Okay. So we're saying whatever's here is gonna be equal to here on the client. So we're getting this and we're putting it over to here. And if there is, this is else, right? So if this is true, then do this. If there is no leader stats data, then we'll do the else. And when would there be no leader stats data? If this is the first time the player is playing the game, then there is no folder here for the player, okay? And if that's true, then here would return nothing. Okay, leader sets data would be equal to nothing because there is no player folder on the server. And then it's going to say, yes, it was successful, um, but there was nothing in leader sets data. So this is false. Okay, nothing in there. So it's going to go to the else, and it's going to set money.value equal to zero. Okay, so he's just starting out. All right. So that's what that uh, code is all about. And uh, I guess we can also.
um, yeah, why don't we go ahead and stop there, right? When we go ahead and test the program at the moment, we won't see any changes, right? Um, but when, once we finish the system, then we'll be able to test it out and see what's actually happening.